Francis Bacon was born at York House, near the Strand, in London, on January 22, 1561. Francis's father was Sir Nicholas Bacon, and his mother was Anne Cook. Anne was the daughter of the humanist Anthony Cook, and his mother's sister was married to William Cecil, making Cecil, Francis's uncle. Francis Bacon, at 36 years old, developed quite a taking with Elizabeth Hatton, a young widow of about 20 years. Although they courted for a time, she would turn down his suit to marry a far wealthier man, and Francis would seek elsewhere for his wife. At 45 years old he met a 14-year-old Alice Barnum, and made her his wife. Their marriage was not always a contented one, often Alice bemoaning the lack of funds available to her. She committed adultery, and Bacon disinherited her. It was widely believed that as a young boy, Francis was educated in his home, due to poor health. At the age of 12 years, in April of 1573, he was matriculated into Trinity College, Cambridge. For three years he lived with Anthony Bacon, his elder brother. Together they were personally tutored by the future Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr. John Whitgift. It would be at Cambridge that Francis had his first of many encounters with Queen Elizabeth. His education was quite extensive and would take him to Europe for several years. Francis Bacon would be called upon to return home to England in 1579 after the unexpected death of his father. The sudden death of his father, left Francis with only a fraction of the funds his father had intended for him, which meant in order to support himself, and repay his debts, he practiced law from Gray's Inn. After several years working at Gray's Inn, it was his intention to enter politics, and subsequently was elected as MP for Melcombe, and later Taunton, in Dorset. He became a great advocate for the United Kingdom, wishing to bring together England, Scotland and Ireland in the hope that constitutional ties bringing these countries together, would bring peace and strength. In 1603 he was knighted by James I. Although Sir Francis's political career would take a turn for the worse, he would nonetheless be saved from degradation. He would in future, turn his attentions back to study and writing. He was a strong advocate of empiricism, a theory of knowledge that states knowledge comes only from sensory experience. Empiricism also emphasized the roles of experience and evidence, that would lead Francis to his greatest accomplishment, of advocating philosophy and the scientific methodologies. It was whilst trying to prove such methodologies, that Francis was struck down with pneumonia. Whilst testing a theory, on whether meat could be preserved by freezing it, he contracted a chill. Unable to return to his own lodgings, he took refuge in the home of the Earl of Arundel who was not to be found in residence at the time. He died there on April 9, 1626.